Alex Rivera and I'm the Fall 2013 Arts Institute Interdisciplinary Artist in Residence at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. In 2008, I did my first feature film, which is uh, it's called Sleep Dealer, and it's a uh, science fiction set in Mexico. And the main character is a person who today would be uh, an immigrant, um, somebody who might today cross the border. But in this future world, uh, the border is sealed, and instead of crossing, um, he connects his body to a kind of futuristic internet and sends his labor to America. So his pure labor crosses the border, but his body um, doesn't. The genre of films set in the future is something that's like up until just the past few years has really only existed in the cinemas of the sort of so-called first world. So anyways, that freaked me out, like that there's no future in the films that are made in Mexico. I mean, we all know Mexico has a future. So my, my work in film and digital media has always been about ideas and uh, thinking critically about the world that we live in. And uh, as such, I've always had a connection to academia. Um, every year I do a college tour, I do a lot of workshops and a lot of lecturing. So the idea of spending a semester with a group of students, an interdisciplinary group, and trying an experiment, a kind of thought experiment. Can we start with students that have never made a film before and get them not only making films, but making critical films, thinking about the future. You know, it was an interesting challenge. and. Um, and something that didn't feel foreign to what I was already doing. Yeah, so this semester I've been teaching a class called From Ecotopia to Eco-Apocalypse, a digital storytelling about our future. We're used to seeing films about the environment that are documentaries because we're facing, I think most of us would acknowledge some kind of an environmental crisis. This class wanted to take a different angle and say, is there another way to speak about the challenges that confront our society in terms of the environment and might genre and specifically science fiction have something to offer? Well, I really like the combination of science fiction and the environment, those two topics. Both of those are topics that I'm interested in. Both of those are very broad topics. Um, I'd never thought of sci-fi as like a vehicle for political statements or making um, a statement about your personal or social beliefs and um, he really brought that out in the class and encouraged us to um, work with it as an allegory for something that was important to us. You're imagining one piece of the future, you put it up on the screen and then these like extra details that are kind of peripheral to you as a filmmaker then to your audience become central and start to create dissonance with other aspects of the future you're portraying and you know and then hopefully again as listeners and learners we listen to the audience try to take in some of their feedback and then let it let our films adapt to that feedback water thieves a fence 24 7 beat it's a really intense demand uh, asking students some of whom have no filmmaking experience in two months to learn everything about film and then show their pieces before an audience of 350 people in this case. I've exhibited my artwork a lot, but I don't think I've had that sweaty of hands in years. Um, sitting there in the audience waiting for the film to play. <gasps> yeah, I do feel better, Doc. Doc? Doc? I received a call from him the next day. I've been cleared for the journey. Doctors say I can expect to make a recovery in New Guy. So it's been like beautiful to see them take on this challenge that uh, is pretty daunting and to come out um, smiling and come out feeling like they made something. Has, for me, been a learning experience. Each, each one of the participants in the class has taught me about the power of this medium to, uh, to say something interesting, to say something quickly, to say something powerful, to say something playfully, um, but ultimately to, to say something meaningful uh, about the world we live in. I think the core thing I'll take away is that dialoguing across disciplines is richer and better and more fun and, 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 and more stimulating than I, even, than I thought it was. I don't have any background in filming, but I, I film a lot. 
Um, and this is the very first time I get to know how to make a film. I would definitely want to take another artist in residence course. For the students that come out of this class, I just want them to, to know that when they're engaged with the world, they're engaged in the kind of practice that we've been developing in this class. Just to take these skills and use them in, in whatever challenges and whatever fields they end up working in.